everyone, this is Rachelle. Thanks for clicking on my video. And I came in today to do something a little bit different. I want to talk about a subject that I have been noticing has been popping up here and there. And this subject is age shaming. And um, I want you to settle in because this is going to be a long video. Because um, I want to work through my feelings on aging and share with you why I wanted to do this video. So my question is, are you guilty of it, age shaming someone? Now, I want to tell you what made me want to talk about this. First off, the last few weeks, I have been watching this series called Feud, and it tells the story of veteran actresses Betty Davis and Joan Crawford and the the turmoil that went on when they were filming the movie whatever happened to baby jane but the backstory on this is the way that these two phenomenal actresses were treated by hollywood as they started to age so back when betty davis and joan crawford um, were acting women didn't get facelifts you know they they aged gracefully and it showed on their faces but what happened is as these two women started to age they started getting less and less work and it affected them mentally because they knew that they were still good actresses but hollywood didn't want them anymore because they weren't the pretty young girls that they were when they first started so when jobs for elderly women or older women came about these two women almost battled each other for those jobs and the sad part about it is they were both good actresses betty davis bar none um is an actress or was an actress that uh, that just became the role that she um was portraying same with joan crawford and as i watched this series it made me think about some of the things that I've been seeing here lately with um, with this age shaming. Another thing that made me want to do this video is the other day I was watching a video of a fellow YouTuber. And all throughout this YouTuber's video, she felt the need to defend her age. And I thought that was pretty sad. She said in her video that you know, she stated her age and she said that she was proud to be her age. And she talked about how some people, you know, kind of threw shots at her because of her age, calling her an old bitch and, you know, talking about her looks. And I thought that was sad because the fact is we're all going to get older, you know, and what this YouTuber said is true some of you will not live to be her age now before i go on i want to tell you some of my feelings on aging you know i've made no bones about it in all of my videos i am 52 years old i am happy to have reached this age i remember when i was younger and you know thinking about what i would be like as a woman of this age. I distinctly remember being 13 years old. And I remember my mother's best friend was going to come over and she was going to bring her kids and you know they were all going to get together and you know how your parents get to drinking and playing cards. And I had a crush on my mother's um best friend's son. And I am a Pisces and Pisces are dreamers. And I was sitting there at 13 thinking about um, if me and him got married and what our children would look like and, you know, all of that. That was the little dreamer in me, the 13-year-old, you know. And um, the person that I am today, I could not dream that I would be this person. The 13-year-old Rachel had no idea what the 52-year-old Rachel would be. 
Back then, I was very active. I played tennis. I ran track. I swam. I played outside with my brothers, football, all of that. And now when I look back on all of that, especially with the issues that I'm having now, you know, with my body and, you know, things starting to break down, ladies, you know, I look back in fondness at all the physical things and fun things that I did when I was younger, riding horses and just having fun. And then it brings me to today. When I look in the mirror today, I still see myself as that young girl. Now, of course, I'm a lot heavier. My face is a lot fuller. I have gray hair and I'm physically different. But inside, I'm still that young girl. I don't see what the outside world sees. I don't feel what people think I feel at 52. I feel vibrant. I feel young. I feel like I'm just as beautiful as a woman that is half my age. Of course, you know, there are parts of my body that I would love if they would be back like they were when I was younger, but I accept it because this body that I have <clears throat> has carried me for 52 years. It has seen many moons, many, many things um, occur in my life. This body has given birth to two children. This body has worked to support those children. So if now I have a little arthritis in my knees or in my hands, or in my case, in my spine, I know where it comes from. It comes from a lifetime of taking care of my children, loving my man, taking care of my home, and just being out here in this world, you know? When I look at my face, because I am a black woman, we don't age quite like races, other races. It takes a long time for us to look really, really, you know, old. And, and I come from a family that, you know, the women in the family really don't look old for a while. So I have double the luck, okay? Also, too, when I was younger, I had very, very oily skin. And I hated it when I was younger. But I remember my mother always telling me, Rachelle, as you get older, that younger, that oily skin that you have, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pay off in the end because you'll age slower. And when she was saying it when I was in my 20s, I was like, oh, my God, you know, I don't want to hear that. What do I do about this oily skin now? Makeup just seems to slide off my face or I'm, you know, a quarter way through my work day and I go look in the mirror and I'm looking like a shiny penny, you know. But that was the young ratio. That was the ratio learning to be the woman that I am today. Now, getting back to when younger women, you know, throw insults at someone my age, you know, and the first thing they say, oh, you old bitch, or you this, you that, you wish you look like me. And sometimes I wonder, do they think that they're hurting us when they do that? You know, because as a woman of 52, when a younger woman does that, it doesn't hurt me. What it does is it makes me wonder if she knows that she will be me one day. Now, let me give you an example. When I was younger and I would look at women that were my age, um, I would never age shame them. But if there were things on their faces that, you know, I had questions about, like I remember this one lady that I used to work with when I was about 24, she had hair on her chin and I was thinking, doesn't she know that, you know, if I was, you know, if that was me, I would get that hair off my chin and why does she have this hair on her chin? 
you know, back then I didn't know that as you age, your hormones change and, you know, your level of estrogen goes down and blah, blah, blah. You know, I didn't understand all that. But as I have aged, I realized that I have become that woman that I used to look at and wonder things about her. I am her now, you know? And being this woman today, I have, you know, gone through the change of life. Um, I am postmenopausal, and um, I didn't feel all the things that they say that you go through. I did go through a little hotness and a little coldness every once in a while, but not to an extreme that I couldn't bear, you know? I laughed it off and went on with my life because I knew that I had birthed two children. I was done having children. And this was just the second part of my life. You know, what I planned to do, I was just talking to my daughter today. I said, I'm going to be fabulous when I get older. I'm going to be like Cicely Tyson. I'm going to keep my makeup up, keep my hair up, and I'm going to live life. So when those women that are younger than me, you know, th throw those little jabs, I don't get offended because that used to be me when I was younger. You see, that used to be me. And um, I wonder sometimes, do they know that it's a level of disrespect? You know, we have moved to a time when youth is celebrated and we don't have as much respect for our elders like we did once upon a time. You know, also when I looked at those older women when I was younger, especially the ones that had kept themselves up and, you know, were still taking the time to make themselves look pretty, I felt that they had a certain classiness about them. A certain, you know, they had lived a life and they knew themselves as women and, you know, they carried themselves in a certain way. And I wanted that level of sophistication when I was younger. I wanted to be them in a certain way. So the fact that, you know, they were older, I kind of worshiped at their feet. Let me give you an example. My grandmother is 91 years old. And I remember sitting in her kitchen while she was cooking. And she would tell me stories about when she was younger. And then she had this big trunk in her room. And it had like all these pearls and diamond earrings and beautiful watches and, you know, just, you know, things from her youth. In her closet, she had all these fur coats and, you know, beautiful hats that she had kept for like, 30 and 40 years and you know she would show me pictures of herself when she was younger and I thought she was so pretty you know and she would put me on her fur coats and her little gloves that they used to wear back in the 50s and I would picture myself you know being back in the 50s and dressing feminine like women did and I loved all the stories that my grandmother told me how she met my grandfather and you know, just the romantic side of it. And then I would look at her, you know, being, you know, in her 70s and her 80s. And I was so proud of the life that she led. And it, it, it just her face showed me that she had lived a lot of life and I had a lot to learn from her. And I always did that with a lot of older women. I would sit and listen to them talk about what it was like to be a woman, you know, the things that we go through in life, the, the, you know, the things that we go through when we're raising our children, when we're in marriages. And I, how can I put it? I basically adored them. And I would never like age shame them because I always felt like they had something that I was searching for 
something that I was trying to become. So it never dawned on me to age shame them, you know, because I felt like these women had lived life and who was I to be telling them what they didn't have or what they didn't look like. And, you know, I would never have called a woman, an elderly woman, uh, an old bitch. It never even you know, cross my mind to do that or talk about how they look because I knew that they looked whatever way they look because they had just lived life. You know, um, a lot of times, you know, we'll look at these women that are in their 40s or late 30s that want to have babies and we'll say, you know, she's too old to be having a baby. I think about that too, especially in the case of someone like Janet Jackson. You know, she was 50 and allegedly she was having her first baby. And a lot of women talked about her negatively. You know, she's too old. But the fact is we're living longer now. So where 50 used to be considered very old because, you know, the average lifespan of a, of a woman was not what it is today. 50 now is like the new 40, the new 30, because we're living longer. Proof of that is my grandmother. She's 91. My grandmother has no illnesses, no, you know, high blood pressure, diabetes, any type of it. She's healthy. The only thing that she has is some arthritis. And that's because you get older and your bones get creakier. But other than that, my grandmother gets out every day, goes to her little center, has fun. So when I look at someone like Janet Jackson wanting to have a baby, you know, medicine is better now. We're, we're living longer. So to me, if she feels that her body is capable of it, if she feels that this is the right time in her life to have this baby, who am I to say that she's too old? You know, obviously she wasn't. She carried that baby to term and she had a healthy baby. So for those who said that she was too old, you know, she made them out to be liars. And, you know, if her baby, you know, when her baby is 18, she'll be 68 years old. I have girlfriends that are 68 years old who are out here doing the damn thing you know they're not considered in their mind old they're out you know partying traveling enjoying life the point i'm trying to make is 50 once upon a time was considered old but today it's not you know, you have women um, out here like Halle Berry, uh, Angela Bassett, uh, women like that. And I know you guys are going to say, but they're stars. They have the best of care and all of this. But my grandmother was just a hardworking black woman who raised, incidentally, 12 children. 12. This little woman gave birth to 12 children. And like I told you, she has no illnesses, none whatsoever. We just threw a party for her 91st birthday last summer and she was dancing. Yes, people, my grandmother was doing line dances and everything. And laughing and joking and having fun and had a couple beers. So I think that age is in your mind. I think if you take care of yourself, you worship your body, you take care of your body, you take care of your skin, you know, and you are healthy. So in your mind, you're healthy, you feel vibrant. So when younger women throw those jabs at you, you kind of chuckle because you know that one day they'll be you. You know what I mean? And you also know that you feel healthy inside, you feel vibrant. And it, so it doesn't hurt. It doesn't upset you. You look at them and you say, one day, young lady, you'll know what it's like to be me. Before you know it. You know, I look back over my life and, you know, like I said, I'm 52. I remember the 
the Rachelle that was in her 20s. I remember the Rachelle that was in her 30s and the one that was in her 40s. In each decade of my life, I became a stronger woman. I became more self-assured. I became just more of the woman that I knew that I could be when I was a teenager. You know, now I'm an empty nester. I just got off the phone from talking to my daughter and I told her, I said, you know what? This is the second half of my life. I spent the majority of my adult life raising children and now it's my turn. And I look forward to it, you know? I look forward to this time. To be able to run free without the worry of, oh gosh, I got to get home and get my children fed, get homework done, get, get baths and clothes laid out for tomorrow and the hustle and bustle of raising children. I'm done with that, you know? And I look back over all those years fondly and um, know that I did the best that I could and know that from what I see now with my children, I've raised independent, you know, hardworking adults. And I may have made some mistakes, but I did the best I could because like we all say, children don't come with directions, you know? And then turning this around again to age shaming. When you look at someone that you consider is up in age, someone who was older or elderly. Look at that face. Look at those eyes, look at those hands and know that that person paid their dues to look the way that they do. They made it. I can tell you a story of, you know how you connect with people on Facebook that you knew when you were younger? Well, there was a guy when I was in elementary school who we knew back then that he was gay. And um, we went to junior high school and the moment that we went to junior high school, he just simply started dressing like a girl. He never dressed like a boy again. So we went all the way through middle school together and, you know, we kind of lost touch when we went to high school, but we met up again you know, right after we graduated from high school and I started hanging out with him. And um, I would come home from college and hang out with him in the summer. I had so much fun with him, just so much fun. You know, him teaching us how to put on makeup and just all kinds of things. But you know, as life goes on, you lose touch. So in our twenties, we lost touch. So recently, you know, I, you know, came upon some friends that I knew during that time when I was hanging out with that guy that was gay. So I asked them, I said, you know, have you seen uh, blah, 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 and what, what is he doing in his life now? And my friends told me that he had died when he was 23 years old. And they said that he had a, a uh, um, short illness. Um, I forgot what it was that he had. It wasn't AIDS or anything, but he died. And it kind of hit me hard. Even though he had been gone, unbeknownst to me, you know, over 20 years, it hit me like it was just yesterday. And the reason why I think it's because I thought about the vibrant gay young man that I knew and thought about he never got a chance to age. He never got a chance to live life like I did. You know, these 20 odd years that we have been apart, he never got a chance to live them. And it hurt me for him. You know, he used to make jokes that he was going to find his Prince Charming and he was going to get married. And to think that he never got a chance to live a full life like I have. I have a sister-in-law that died about three years ago. I loved her. And um, when I think about that, you know, a couple years after she died, her first grandchild was born. And I think about how she would have spoiled this grandchild to death 
how this grandchild would have had everything and the best grandmother in the history of grandmothers. And my sister-in-law didn't live to see her first grandchild. So when I look in the mirror, ladies, I see a person that has lived life. I see a person who is grateful for every day. I see a person that appreciates the life that God gave me, the gray hair that he has put in my head. You know, I appreciate it. So no, I am not offended when a younger woman throws shade at me because I am in my 50s. I kind of chuckle because I hope and I pray that she lives as long as I have. That she gets a chance to experience some of the things that I have. I've traveled outside of this country. I've traveled to quite a few states in the United States. I have loved some of the sweetest men. I've worked at some of the most exciting jobs. So I have lived a life, you know? And um, I want these young women to think about this when they reach my age, as they age. Think about this video. Think about, you know, every day that God gives you. And when you're my age, you're going to come back to this time when you were critical of an older woman or you were throwing shade at an older woman. And when you are that older woman, you will understand why it doesn't bother us. So I'm going to also go back to my fellow YouTuber who was defending her age. I'm not going to call out her name. If she listens to my video, she'll probably be able to, you know, figure out that I'm talking about her. I'm going to say again, throughout her video, she was talking about how people were shading her and calling her old. And she said, some of you bitches won't live to be my age. You know, some of you bitches don't look as young as I do now. She went on to say that she looks at some of them and some of them look older than what she is now. And she wasn't throwing shade. She was defending herself as a middle-aged woman. You know, I'm not going to do that. I look at all these beautiful black women that I see on television, that I see every day walking down the street, and they are different ages. And I look into their faces and I say, you know, that's me. That's me when I was in my 20s or that's me when I was in my 30s or that's me when I was in my 40s. And then I look at women that are older than me and I'm going to and I say, that's going to be me one day. I pray that God gives me, even if he gives me as many days as he's given my 91 year old grandmother, I want to live a long life. I want to be combing year after year, gray hair all over my head, you know, because that means that you have lived a long, full life. So I'm going to end the video by saying this. For those of you young women out there who have in your life age shamed an older woman, stop and think. One day you will be her. And you will look back on when you were younger and you made that mistake of age shaming someone who was older than you. And you're going to be a little ashamed because like I said at the beginning of this video, all of us are going to get older, God willing. And with that, everyone, thank you for watching my video. And I would love to hear your comments on this and be honest, you know, have you age shamed someone? And if you are an elderly woman and you've been age shamed, you know, put it down in the comments. You know, my kids throw shade at my age all the time, y'all. So, 
you know, I'm one of the ones that have been a shame. And I must admit, if I'm being honest with myself, when I was younger, I did some age shaming of my own. So just leave your comments down in the comment section. I would sure like to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, thank you so much for watching my video. And if you made it through, I appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day now. Bye-bye.